Hi, this is Frank Buck, and this is the place to be if you want to get organized and make it look easy. Today, we're talking about Evernote Home. It's a dashboard you see when you open Evernote. It puts what you're most likely to need at your fingertips. So let's dive in. When I open Evernote, I'm greeted by name. It calls me doctor because that's the name, Dr. Frank Buck, that's on file. Otherwise, it would have said, good morning, Frank. I have a nice background, but most importantly, I have seven widgets. If you're using Evernote Basic, the free account, you'll see three. I have Evernote Premium, therefore I see seven. You may or may not have Evernote Home. It'll come to Evernote Web when it comes. If you use Evernote for Windows or Evernote for Mac, you can speed up the process if you don't have it yet. Go to evernote.com slash download. How often do you find that the information you need right now is the same information you also used very recently? Evernote Home leverages that idea. One widget, the one that you see here, shows me the notes that I use most recently. All I have to do is click on a note and it opens that note right from Evernote Home. Another widget displays the most recently captured items. It has tabs that divide them into web clips, images, documents, audio, and email. You know how valuable a memo pad by the phone can be, right? But what if the information you need to grab is digital? Wouldn't it be quicker to copy and paste into a digital version of that trusty tool? Well, Evernote puts a memo pad widget on Evernote Home for exactly that reason. If the quickly captured information turns out to be something you want to save, clicking the three dots in the corner of the widget converts it into an Evernote note and saves it. So everybody gets the three widgets. Premium users get four more. They piggyback on that idea that our work today tends to focus around information we used recently. One widget displays the notebooks used most recently. Another widget displays the most frequently used tags. Another widget displays my shortcuts. Those shortcuts are links to a handful of notes that I want to have front and center at all times. Everything on those widgets is a click away. No scrolling or searching is required. The final widget is a single pinned note. The executive who takes that one piece of reference information and slips it under the glass on their desk will understand the value of the pinned note. For me, it's a list of custom bookmarks. In the upper right hand corner of that widget, I just click the three dots and that allows me to navigate into any notebook just as you see here on the screen and pick what that pinned note is going to be. Customize it to make it your own. You don't like the background? Well, in the upper right hand corner, look for a little button that says customize. Click on it. If you have Evernote Premium, you're going to see that. Just click on that customize button in the upper right hand corner. You'll then be able to click and change to a different background. You can even upload your own. The dimensions need to be 2000 by 1280 pixels and the size less than five megabytes. Want to rearrange those seven widgets? Well, just click that customize button in the upper right hand corner and start dragging them around. You can even get rid of a widget you don't want by clicking the three dots in the corner of any widget. So what's in my pinned note? Would you like to see? Well, come over to the text of the blog post. You're gonna find the links there and there's a bunch of them. You're gonna enjoy it. I hope you find Evernote Home to be a treat every time you open the software. If you're brand new to Evernote, you can get started today and do it for free. For a shortened link that's going to allow you to create your own account, go to bit.ly slash buck Evernote. That's all in lowercase, bit.ly slash buck Evernote. Most people are overwhelmed by the amount of paper and digital information in their lives. If you'd like to get a weekly email from me designed to help you join my list today, come over to frankbuck.org to do that. As a free gift, I'll show you the secret to getting your desk clean once and for all. A few days later, you're gonna receive a guide for setting up a digital task list using Remember the Milk. 
consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and check out these other two videos. Thanks for watching. This has been Frank Buck, helping you get organized and make it look easy.